Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video on HiBlock. In today's video, we will be covering HiBlock's Coin Screener application. The Coin Screener is a powerful tool that allows you to scan the entire market to detect for outliers and trends. As discussed in the probability histogram video, traders try to find outlier situations because they can lead to good trading opportunities. As the number of digital assets continues to grow, traders find themselves shifting through chart after chart to find these moments so that they can enter or exit positions. This can not only take up valuable time, but also leads to missed profits. By providing a broader outlook, one can narrow down which specific coins to research and therefore find opportunities faster. In this video, I'll be going through how to use and interpret the coin screener tool so that you can incorporate it into your trading strategies. I want to start off by saying that this is not financial advice. Everything I say and show in this video is for educational purposes only. So to get started on my screen, you can see two graphs. One is a line graph on the top, and then we have a heat map on the bottom. To get started, we're gonna start on the heat map. On the left, we have a list of coins, and then we have colors to represent the value of a specific indicator. In this case, we are discussing funding rate. Like our other heat map applications, if you hover over the chart, a black box will appear and tell you the date, the coin, and the value. You can look at the legend on the right of the graph to see how the colors correspond to the different values. You can notice on the chart there is a few dark green boxes that stand out. This represents when the funding rate drastically decreased in a short time frame compared to the rest of the market. So as we can see here, the funding rate moved from positive to negative. Within the settings at the top, we have the ability to change the indicator that we're looking at. We support a variety of different indicators, such as funding rate, volume, average trade size, number of trades, long percentage, open interest, retail versus whale divergence, and price percentage change. So there are two ways traders can look at the coin screener and determine if a value stands out. Those are relative to the market and relative to itself. And we can see these options right over here. In the example below, the funding rate of these coins are extremely low compared to the rest of the market, which are neutral. However, for some indicators, certain coins have consistently high or low values relative to the rest of the market. And for those situations, it would be difficult to find outliers. For example, if we switch the indicator to volume, BTC and Ethereum will obviously be larger versus the rest of the market every time, as we can see on the chart. BTC stands out and Ethereum stands out. For this example, it's useful to switch to relative to itself and look at the data points compared to its own historical data rather than versus all the coins. So as you can see, the chart looks very different now. So far, we have focused on looking for just outliers though. This tool can also be used to see how coins are trending. We can take a look at an example. If we switch the time frame from five minutes to let's say one hour, and we move the indicator type to from volume to long percentage, we can see a trend for XMR USDT. So right here, XMR, earlier was had an extreme high long percentage okay slowly over time that has changed which we can see from the heat map where the shade changed from red to a lighter red to eventually an orange a yellow a light green and then a dark green okay so this is showing that it moved from a very high long percentage to an extreme low long percentage where it is now. Once you have detected a coin that you believe may be of some interest, you can select that coin on the top. Here we have in ticker, so we can change this to XMR. OK, 
Okay. And this is where the line graph on the top comes into play. You can view the pricing chart of the selected coin with the average price of the indicator across the entire market. So what that means is we take the average of the indicator value across all the coins and display it on this line graph. This will add an additional perspective for the ticker that you've chosen. So that was the overview of the correlation scanner. I hope that provided more clarity on this tool. If you'd like more information, please visit our academy page. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.